Hey, what's going on people? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics, and I'm coming to you with some more information on Black Ops. And more information, potentially, I don't say for sure, but potentially spectacular, crazy, awesome news on zombies. Oh yes, my friend. Now I'm going to put the link, as per usual, in the description of the video if you want to go and watch it. I suggest you do. Why, well, believe me, I just report on it, give you my feelings on it. Anyway, it's from uh, Game Trailers, and it's the third chapter just released today, and if today means that you're watching it near the end of the month, then it's not today. It was October 25th. So anyway, Sunday, October 25th, this is when it came out. I've been refreshing my page every friggin' like 10 minutes, so believe me, this is fresh, this is new. The trailer is an interview with the three members, Josh Olin, uh, Von der Haar, and uh, I can't remember, the main guy overseeing it as well. I apologize, you guys can get his name. The names are irrelevant, we care about the game. I'm not talking about it. No offense, Treyarch, no offense at all to you guys. Uh, anyway, so they talk uh, a great deal. They talk about the multiplayer experience uh, predominantly. Uh, they also talk about uh, vehicles and zombies. Now here's the thing that I'm getting from it. Number one, the multiplayer, obviously, we're all geared up for it. There was concerns or, or talk about, you know, it spans, and for those of you who don't know, the Cold War started more or less at the end of World War II because the Soviet Union was uh, just deprived of resources and there was a lot of political conflict with their satellite states, which is like other countries and stuff that they kind of had a hand in or owned or you know what I mean, that sort of stuff. So it spanned from that period all the way up to the end of Vietnam. So there's a lot of different weapons there. Weapons potentially from World War II-ish to modern day, and it's like, well, how do you create you know, if, if the campaign is, is covering that, you're going to be using old weapons. And you see the MP40 in some of this, you know, leaked footage or whatever. You've seen the weapons uh, in other, you know, confirmed spottings or whatever. MP40, uh, I think in, in zombies and stuff like that. I don't know if it's zombies. Anyway, MP40 and then you've got M16s from us and all that stuff. So, you know, it's going to be difficult. It's, it's interesting to see how they're going to actually balance those weapons in a multiplayer. Because... You know, they do react. A lot of people play that uh, played World at War. You know, some of them are like, oh, I'm, I hate it. I hate World War II weapons. Blah blah blah. I only like modern day. Well, you know what? I'll tell you right now. It's an easy, easy way to fix it. I mean, even though you're using World War II weapons, it's easy to tweak them to make them behave in a similar nature or fashion to modern day weapons. It's just in your head. It's how you perceive them. It's your thought. Like, oh, it's old. It's rusty. It's gonna jam on me. It's freaking multiplayer. It's gonna act like an SMG. It's gonna fire fast. They're gonna balance it. It's not gonna be an issue. So anyway, they don't confirm. They just basically say that, you know, they've got a mix of weapons and and as per usual, and as we've been knowing, uh, they're balancing it. They're bringing balance to this whole game. So that was one of the issues. I don't know if it was one of your concerns. It's not one of mine. I've never really cared about, uh, you know, whether it's World War II weapons, modern day weapons, or whatever. I mean, if it was a slingshot, I might have some concerns with that. But you got semi-automatic and automatic weapons back then and now, and they'll just balance them. Who really cares? As a matter of fact, maybe I'll do all the old ones and be one of those, oh, that's the way I like to I used to use that weapon, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that aside, more importantly, uh, also a huge aspect, for those of you that know, the last two Treyarch games, uh, and for those of you that played World at War, there's been vehicles in there. And it's, you know, personally for me, I could care less. I mean, yeah, I could own with, with tanks because people don't know how to use them properly, like evade them properly. Uh, but if I wasn't in a tank, I never really had a problem finishing top of the list against the other team, even if they had all the tanks. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just knowledge. It's knowing how to deal with things. But that, that being said, they have removed them. There will be no vehicles in the multiplayer for, um, and I think that's good for uh, Black Ops. Sorry, I know. I don't finish my sentences. Anyway, there's going to be no vehicles. And the reason that they give is that um, they needed to focus on balance. Again, it's all about this making sure that everything is even keel. And they said that the introduction of, of vehicles, while they kind of like them, obviously, or they wouldn't have put them in their last two, kind of makes it a lot more difficult and a lot more time would have probably have been needed to balance everything, the, the weapons and the vehicles. So I think they just said, you know what, screw it, let's get rid of them. Uh, a lot of people like the way, and I think it was more pressure, to be quite honest, I think it was 
maybe I'm not saying that they're they're lying and that it was completely not their choice, but I think there was a bit of pressure from Activision, the the mother company. They even say that the you know there's influence from the develop uh, from the the owner or the publisher, which is Activision, uh, and they have sway. They're like, listen. Get rid of the vehicles. It's not, you know, the fans don't like it. I know you guys like it. And I know you, it's your own flavor, but get rid of them. It doesn't work in the equation. So whatever the combination is, it doesn't really matter. The point is, no more vehicles. Now we move on to uh, zombies. Actually, uh, zombies co-op. Let's talk about zombies co-op and co-op mode uh, in particular. I am going out, based on this video, based on the video and what they said, I'm going to go out on a limb. And don't take this as written in stone or carved in stone, or whatever the expression is, but I don't think there's going to be a co-op mode. Not in the sense that there was in World at War, uh, which was, you know, they had normal co-op mode where you and, you know, three other buddies could go in and do segments of the actual campaign. And then you had uh, Spec Ops, which was in Modern Warfare 2. Again, you could do segments of the game uh, doing a co-op. And I think even uh, Call of Duty 4 had it. I'm pretty damn sure they did. Anyway, the sounds of it, and if you listen carefully, and this is why I'm saying, is they're saying there's three pillars. And near the end of this, they start saying, well, you know, um, they're saying, well, you know, that the, the co-op, we really wanted to fo focus on, they, they say, he mentions co-op. The interviewer's like, well, what about co-op? You know, uh, everybody wants to play it. They said, yeah, you know, we put that in World at War. However, it didn't make sense for this campaign mode, the story mode, and this is, you know, once you finish the campaign mode, this is why. Whether that's a ploy to try and get you guys to actually play the campaign mode, which I'm going to play it anyway, regardless, because I think it's going to be friggin' absolutely sick. And if you don't play it and you go right to multiplayer, I think you're going to miss a huge chunk and huge enjoyment factor out of this game. This game is going to be sick, people. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Even if, I don't care. I wasn't this excited for Modern Warfare 2. I'm incredibly excited for Black Ops, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, so they said, you know, it doesn't make sense for this for this campaign, and then they said, oh, but well, you know, there's there's zombie co-op, and then Josh Olin kind of goes, oh, and and, and the, uh, the, the training mode kind of acts as a co-op as well. And I'm like, I think they're trying to sort of compensate for the fact that there is no real uh, campaign co-op mode. So there's not gonna be anything like the Spec Ops or the actual uh, campaign modes that, or co-op campaign modes that we've seen in the previous editions. I think honestly they've they've really concentrated and they keep mentioning the three pillars the campaign, zombies, and multiplayer. So I think this is what's happened and in the end this is the exciting news so I know that you know you guys are like oh, what's so exciting about this? I think there's gonna really be something epic and I don't know if it's gonna be in the next game trailer which they're gonna show on October 31st so right at the end it's gonna be the last one Unless Treyarch releases something else uh, on their own, which hopefully they do if, if this doesn't nail it. But I'm, I'm assuming, and I said this before, but I'm hoping. I mean, come on, guys. It's the 31st. I'm hoping it'll concentrate solely on the zombie portion. But anyway, these zombies, they're, they're talking about multi uh, the, the zombie uh, co-op mode. They're saying, you know, we're not going to mess around with the, the structure of it. So basically what they're saying is... Not the the zombies. I was gonna say Nazi zombies, but it's all sorts of different stuff. I'm sure there's gonna probably be Nazi zombies in there though, because it's spanning from the end of World War II. So likely there might be some in there. Anyway, um, that being said, so the, the the feel of it probably the improved game engine, new weapons, new maps, and everything like that. But the zombies itself, the co-op co mode is gonna be the same as it was. What made it famous? So that's awesome news. It's you should be really happy about it. And for those of you that haven't played it on World at War, you're going to be so happy with this, man. It's You're going to have so much fun. You may play this even more than you play multiplayer, because multiplayer you get rage. Zombies, you just, it's just exciting, it's fun, it's like pushing it, and when you're with friends, you try new things. And stay tuned to our channel, because we always post uh, challenge series. So we set a challenge, we say, okay, we're going to do, all four of us, we're going to do uh, knife only. So all you can do is knife the zombies and we're going to go as far as we can and then you guys got to try and beat us. And uh, if you look on our challenge, uh, NGT challenges, you can submit videos there. So likely we're going to have something to do with that, I can guarantee you. So you guys can post your own videos and say, ha ha, we kicked your ass, you guys suck old man. But don't say that, it would hurt my feelings. So definitely uh, co-op mode zombies is there. But they're talking about uh, zombies and everything like that. And this is what makes me think that this is going to happen. 
And they even say it, if you read on game trailers, they're suspecting as well, he says something huge, something big beyond what we're, we're thinking. And game trailer said, um, zombies campaign, question mark. And I think they're actually on the right path. Because if they're only concentrating on the three, on the three actual modes, perhaps, you know, you've got the one co-op mode, and I'm not saying that it's going to be a campaign mode where it's single player you against zombies, but it could be. Think about it this way. Think about it if it was like Spec Ops, where you and a buddy have to go through many missions, kind of like what the old co-op was, but zombie style. Because they're, they're really kind of hiding something here, but definitely a taste or a feel. If you watch that video, a taste or a feel that it's zombie related. You've got the campaign mode. They're not screwing with that. By the sounds of it, there is no campaign co-op mode. That's done. you got multiplayer, balancing and everything like that. But those are two normal issues that don't really take anything else off the board in terms of a difference or, or you know, and I don't know how much programming space either on the disc it would take, how much they've improved it. But nonetheless, two regular pillars. They've eliminated the co-op, like Spec Ops mode, which allows for a lot of extra space and uh, disc space and programming, and said that, you know, Zombies is really a pillar now. They don't want to mess, again, listen to it, they don't want to mess with the co-op aspect, but they got something big in store. So if it's not a co-op aspect, Tell me what it is. I'm telling you right now, it's got to be, I'm, I'm leaning towards, and this, believe me, this isn't my own idea, um, but I'm leaning towards the fact that there's going to be some sort of zombie campaign mode. Uh, maybe a zombie, zombie multiplayer mode. I don't know. That would be kind of freaking cool. A zombie multiplayer mode. I don't know. I don't even know how they would do that. We don't know because they're not giving us any information in any way like that. So give me your thoughts. Write down your comments. Tell me what you think it actually is. It's definitely, definitely zombie related. Watch the video and listen carefully to what they say. Definitely zombie related, but I'm curious. Do you think it's a zombie campaign? Do you think it's zombie multiplayer? Or what could it possibly be? What could the huge news be? And it's, it's got to be there because there's a huge component that's normally in these games that's gone. Campaign uh, co-op gone. I'm very curious. Write your comments. I want to know what you guys think for sure. I'm good to ride from Next Gen Tactics. Write your comments.